Hey guys, welcome back to the Rocky Ridge Auto Page. It's Travis and I am here with a 2020 Ram Dually Diesel Limited Edition Crew Cab four wheel drive. And it's uh, a super nice truck. It's got just about every feature on it. And we'll go ahead and show you those now. We'll kind of start on the outside of the vehicle. It's a 3500 heavy duty. It's got the Cummins turbo diesel. Obviously I mentioned it's a limited, so that gets you the chrome moldings. It's got the chrome uh, mirrors on the side there. And then these are the towing mirrors. So this is kind of your conventional mirror, but you just uh, take your hand and flip it up and uh, gives you a couple extra inches so that you can uh, use that for your trailer mirrors. Like I mentioned, it's a dually. So that gives you the eight foot bed. It's got the class five hitch on. Um, check out the the key here there's a, a tailgate release button so you hit that twice and you can see the tailgate fold down for you it's nice if you have your hands full chrome uh, alloy rims it's got the park assist sensors in the front it's also got the front camera which we'll show you inside on the screen fog lights LED headlights, We've got the marker lights up on top of the cab, of course, privacy glass, and it's remote start as well. So for that to work, you just simply hit the lock button, push the button twice, and uh, it starts up for you. Just like that, you should be able to hear it running. We'll go ahead and turn it off and climb inside. So one thing cool, this is the proximity key. So you just simply hit the button and uh, it was unlocked. So that locked it. Uh, it was in the remote start mode. So to get it out of that, you gotta hit the unlock and the, then, it, then the proximity will work. But uh, it's got the fold down running boards. Inside the truck, this is where you notice a lot of the, uh, a lot of the extras. It's got the little uh, stitching in the fabric there. You got that, uh, you got that on the seats as well on the back of the seat but it's on the center console there where you can see it says limited it's got the sunroof of course it's power seat driver and passenger heated and cooled leather on the uh, door panel here you got power mirrors um, and not only are they powered they're power folding mirrors it's also got memory seats on the left side of the dash you got your headlight controls power adjustable pedals right there on the column We'll go ahead and start it up. So you just have to have your foot on the brake, keys in the driver area and push the button and uh, it'll automatically delay it. Typically there's a delay on a diesel if the motor is cold for the engine to start up. So that happens automatically, nothing you need to do with that. Um, here is your, uh, your menu controls, which will take you through your information center right in the center console there. It's got a cruise control and it looks like it has adaptive cruise. There's your uh, manual transmission. If you, if you want to shift it manually, you can. Obviously it's automatic, four wheel drive. Uh, and we're kind of in the infotainment center here. It's got the lane change warning. It's got four waves, got traction control, got a power outlet up top. Dual climate control, so you each have your own controls. That's what the blue and the red arrows are. You can see them there on both sides of the screen. Fan controls right here. So if you don't want to use the screen, you can use these just to uh, to adjust it, you can see the temperature going down there. Um, so we'll start in the radio. We'll go down here at the bottom. You push media. That's your your kind of your standard radio screen. You got a couple different presets here. You got satellite radio available. If your phone's connected, you'll have Bluetooth. Um, looks like HD radio is available. If you have that app on your phone, you can use that. Um, so that's the radio screen. The volume button right here. You simply just push it to turn it on and off, adjust the volume with the outside knob there. Same with the tuning, you can tune it manually if you want to, if you want to skip using your presets or using the touch screen. Sometimes the touch screens don't work as good in uh, cold weather, so that's why they have uh, a couple different ways to use it. Uh, we'll go to the camera next. So you got your backup camera here. We got the tailgate down, which is why it looks kind of funny, but uh, it enables you to back right up to a trailer and uh, not back into it. Um, we still see dented bumpers, so I'm not sure what guys are doing, but uh, it is really, really convenient. 
Um, that's the backup camera. It's got a surround camera. So if you have the surround camera, the camera on the left here, you can see all the way around your vehicle. That is the uh, crack in our parking lot. Uh, you can see one right there behind the hitch too. So it's uh, pretty detailed. Um, high, pretty detailed and a lot of the newer cameras are really uh, high definition. So it really makes it easy to see. Then you got a cargo camera. This is cool. You can see what's going on in the bed if you're driving down the road and stuff's blowing around or whatever. You wanna know if your cargo's loose or straps came undone or whatever, you can flip that on. So pretty slick. Um, you can put the running board down uh, right from that button right there. And I believe it'll stay down until you would hit the retract button, even if you open the doors. Um, so if you like to have your running board down all the time, that's where you would adjust that. Um, obviously heated steering wheel, it's got air conditioned seats and heated seats. So a lot of features there. Let's go back to the uh, to the app screen. So here's this is kind of your standard screen. There's a number of different things you can operate from here. It does have Wi-Fi available if you want to subscribe to that. Projection manager, that's Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can run a lot of your apps that are on your phone right in this screen here. Uh, and I won't take time to go into that, but you connect your phone, it's it's very pretty seamless. So, and we can help you do that. And, you know, if you decide to buy it. So. Um, so where it controls, we go to Uconnect. This is your different vents. So um, your climate control screen. Here you can adjust the temperature. Like I mentioned, this is you're doing it all from the screen, but then you also have the capability over here on the left and the right hand side to do that. Um, over here is um, navigation. So it does have the built-in GPS and then phone. Um, this is where you would connect your phone. I believe you can get your text messages there as well. All of that good stuff. Down here below the infotain infotainment, infotainment center, is what I'm trying to say. Down here you have your trailer brake controls, got your tow haul mode, and then it has park front and rear park assist. So you can turn that on and off if you don't like that feature. Um, it's got a couple different USB ports, uh, or USB charging ports, as well as the USB type C, which is the latest um, USB. Two cup holders there in the center console. Tons of storage. There's a power outlet in the bottom there. You can see you can fit a lot of stuff in there. We will go ahead and sh oh, we missed the uh, controls up here on the on the roof. So that you can lower the tailgate right uh, right from the from the ceiling here if you want to. This is your sunroof controls, and this would be to open and close the rear vent. So it has a rear sliding window right there, and that center part you can slide open simply with the push of this button. Uh, this, of course, is your map lights. It's got home link. You can program the garage door right into the truck so you don't need your door opener. If you don't like the sunroof feature or it's a super hot day or something, you just simply pull that shade shut, and uh, you're in good shape. Give you a shot of the back seat again real quick in here you got some extra storage there's one on each side a couple charging ports in the back there it's got heated seats in the back so back passengers um, get that luxury as well fold down the center armrest two cup holders so super clean truck I think we got everything if you have questions about whether it has a feature or not give us a call we'd be more than happy to to check it out for you but i think we covered most of them um i didn't show you under the hood it's the uh the turbo diesel six cylinder turbo diesel um let's show you under there real quick it's a 6.7 liter and it's the same great engine that ram has been making for a while it's been reliable it's been good for them and uh pulls like crazy so if you need a truck like this, if you're doing some heavy duty hauling, and this is this will definitely do it. So stop by and check it out. We're here at Rocky Ridge Auto, 480 North Reading Road, effort of PA 17522. Give us a call first just to make sure it's available. We're at 717-733-8985. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.